Good day, dear friends. In the first part of our post, we have come or reached or perhaps rose up or grew up from nothing and formed into an initial red dot on a black background. What am I supposed to do now? How can I be alone in this endless, boundless space on a black background? To agree with me that it is somehow unfair to be alone forever in the world of black background. We need to do something about it. We need to restore justice and get multiplied. We figured out already that we are always in the center and we always see the same dimension of the same thing, which on the one hand has a small scale, but on the other hand a large one. Interesting, what can it be? On the one hand it is infinitely small, always in the center, and on the other hand infinitely large, it is always in the center and is divided. It is the same thing, but at the same time it is doubled and has different colors. What a mystery! To look at yourself from a distance, from depths, and to see yourself being the same. Initially we were talking about time, past, future and present, and about the fourth dimension which analyzes all these three dimensions in the whole simultaneously. We realize that the geometric figure representing this initial scale is formed in the shape of a sphere. When we read the entire text over and over again we understand the meaning of déjà vu, a repetition of the same thing. The more often we repeat this text, the more we realize that this initial sphere stands in front of a mirror and is reflected in itself, thus an infinite mirror corridor is formed in this reflection. Now we know that there is a connection between the mirror corridor and all the particles that are reflected in this corridor of dimensions. Everything that exists in this world has the scale of mirror relativity. We now understand that we have identified the first dimension. Now we know how the growth of subsequent dimensions occurs. Everything repeats itself and is reflected in each other through the mirror connection. The length of this connection is called the oscillation frequency. You and I will come to the oscillation later, we need to grow up to it. In the meantime, we are still a dot. We don't know yet a precise dimension, its initial size. But we know that we need to take any segment, whatever segment we take, we will call it a zero segment. The initial segment, which is reflected in itself with an equal distance from the initial dot to the same reflected dot. We see this dot in the mirror reflection, it sounds strange though. We see this dot where there is no us yet, and we immediately realize that we are now looking at this dot from the future is on the initial formation of ourselves. That is, we are now in our present and the dot which we look at is the past being the very foundation of this present, when we look at this from the future. Let's put two equal spheres right next to each other and give them a scale of 1 mm. It is logical that both spheres together give a scale of 2 mm in total. In fact, at this moment, matter is obtained from nothing by a multiplication of itself by itself and power. You can now see the number and power, 1 to the power of 2, 3, 4 and so on. In the same mirror corridor, we will see 2 to the power of 2, 3, 4. In the same mirror corridor, we will see 3 to the power of 2, 3, 4 and so on. Thus these thoughts appear in power, we know already that this is a matter which codes of dimensions that have oscillation frequencies. The difference in the ratios of their values we call relativity, and this relativity gives us an understanding that we call fractal law. So many things arise out of nothing, clinging to each other with every step on the principle of dominoes, when one action generates another. The original particle of dimensionality creates the matter that is both inside and outside of itself. At the same time, everything can only be when it is already reflected in each other. The initial particle of dimension creates the matter that is simultaneously inside and outside of itself. At the same time, everything can only be when everything is also already reflected in each other. Thus, the original particle of nothing, which we will call ether, consists of two identical spheres which are repeated inside of a third sphere. We understand that the third sphere is formed and there are two equal spheres inside of it. Wait, it turns out that the third sphere is hollow, then the two original spheres are hollow too. Then what is the thickness of the membrane of the matter separating all these particles? Such a sophisticated question. We now realize that the word the primordial particle can't exist unless it is reflected in itself. Let's sum up. Our nothing started with a dot. Then we talked about two different spheres that reflect each other inside the third sphere, which has a membrane. Of course, the thickness of this membrane must be equal to the thickness, or rather to the diameter of the original sphere, created from nothing, which has its foundation in the original particle, ether, from which everything that comes after consists. The formation of the next particle of ether from nothing is already the second level of the dimension. It consists of the same ether, 
with the difference that this dimension is called the secondary frequency. In other words, as we know from the chemistry textbook with the periodic table, it is the formation of hydrogen. The initial form had a scale of 1 mm. This means that the membrane thickness of the whole sphere that contains two initial scales of the ether particle also has 1 mm. It is written as it looks. The dimension, this form that we see is the particle pathways of infinite etheric field. This field has a structure of an electromagnetic field, meaning these are the pathways of the original ether particles. Let's repeat everything and see its form, which will correspond to everything that we have already learned at the very beginning. Let's repeat the same thing, understanding it from different points of view simultaneously. We're still very young, we're not in a hurry to grow up because we know that we will grow up soon, and the conversation will be between adults. We will continue our growth in the next post. Thank you for your attention. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel.